A lot of it has to do with the sense of self or that sense of control. I mean, obviously we want to do what we can. We want to try our best to help ourselves achieve our goals or, you know, make changes we want, but we aren't in total control. And here's the thing, when we have self-compassion, so this is what's different between self-compassion and self-pity. Self-pity is very self-focused, you know, poor me. Self-compassion is framing your experience in light of the human experience. It's difficult for mm. everyone. Now, ironically, when we want total control, it's as if we have all the power and we're, we're clinging desperately to the idea that if we were just to, you know, the self-critic says, you, know, you should have been able to get that right, which feels safer than actually I tried my best and I came up short. So there is this desire for control, but it also comes from a very natural reason and that's the threat defense system. So when mm. we feel personally threatened, and of course when we fail or make a mistake or you know something challenging is happen happening, we, we feel threatened, we go into fight, flight, or freeze mode. This is just instinctual, sympathetic nervous system gets activated. But because the problem is inside of us, we, we fight ourselves, again, thinking that somehow that will keep us safe, we'll get control, we'll change ourselves, or sometimes just an element of, you know, other people are gonna criticize me. So if I criticize myself first, it won't hurt as badly. 